hello out there welcome to this tutorial on graph of square of numbers so we'll be looking at plotting the graph of square of numbers and then use it to solve square of other numbers so we start straight away a draw the graph of the equation y equal to x squared take the range of values of x from 0 to 8 b use your graph to find the value of 1 1.7 squared 2 2.4 squared 3 7.2 squared and 4 5.5 squared so we start with table of values here is our table we have uh, this row for x and this row for y since the range of values of x is from 0 to 8 so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then for y our y is x squared so 0 squared is 0 1 squared is 1 2 squared is 4 3 squared is 9 4 squared is 16 5 squared is 25 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, and 8 squared is 64. We then go ahead to plot these points on our grid. So we have our grids here. Then here is going to be the x axis, and our y axis is going to be here. We have this place as the origin, and uh, we put in the other values on the x axis. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We then go ahead to calibrate the y axis. So we are taking it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So we go ahead. The first point is 0, 0, which is the origin. We mark it out. The next one is 1, 1. Here is 1, and remember this is 2 units. Each line on the y-axis is 2 units. So 1 there is the midpoint of this line and x-axis. So we place it at the middle of the two lines. And when x is 2, y is 4. x is 2, this is 2, 4. This is the point here. When x is 3, y is 9 this is 3 y is 9 that's going to be this is 8 this is 10 so it is in the midway and when x is 4 y is 16 this is 4 x is 4 here this is 12 14 16 that is the point there and when x is 5 y is 25 so this is x is 5 this is 20 22 24 26 so it's in the midway here we mark it out when x is 6 y is 36 so this is 30 32 34 36 we mark it out when x is 7 y is 49 this is 50 so it is midway between 50 and the line before it so we mark it out when x is 8, we have y to be 64. This is 60, 62, 64. We mark it. Then we now then join the points. So we join the points. And that is the graph of y equal to x squared. So we are done with a part of the problem. We have created the table of values to draw the graph of y equal to x squared. You can see that here. Then we go to B. We have to use our graph to find the value of each of the following. Starting from 1, which is 1.7 squared. To find the value of 1.7 squared, we are required to locate 1.7 squared on the x-axis because it means x is 1.7. So this is 1. 1.2.4.6.8 and 2. So this is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.6. So it's going to be midway between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. So we draw the line to touch the curve. 
then from the point of the intersection of the curve and the line we draw to the y-axis and read if you look at it this is almost halfway between line 2 and 4 so it is not exactly half we therefore read it as 2.9 and for your information from the graph it is just an estimate you will accept 2.9 or 2.8 or 3 so because it is just an estimate we can get exact value from the graph so that is for that then we go to the second one which is 2.4 squared so here again we come here x is 2.4 this is 2.2, 2.4. We draw the line. We then draw another line to y axis. This is very, very close to 6. This is 2, 4, 6. Very close to 6. So we estimate it as 5.9. So that is that. Then for 3, 7.2 squared. We come here where x is 7.2. This is the line. We draw the line to touch the curve and from there we find the point of intersection of the line and the curve and draw it to y axis which is approximately 52 so we have it as 52 then the last one which is 5.5 squared we go to where x is 5.5 which is halfway between 5 and 6 this is the place we draw the line to touch the curve and then we draw to touch the y-axis and that is also approximately 30 and that's all for this problem and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching goodbye